in the last video i explained the intuition behind random forest regression technique now you might be wondering how exactly can we build and train a random forest regression model as well as visualize this non-linear and non-continuous model in this video i'm going to show you the steps to build and train the random forest regression model in a step-by-step -step manner from scratch you will also see how can we visualize this model Please note that I will be using the same data set that I used to train polynomial and decision tree regression models. So stay tuned. So we learned earlier that random forest is a group of several decision trees with each one of them making their own predictions of target variable. Now, all of these individual predictions combine together to provide the average of all the different predictions associated with these different decision trees in the forest. Random forest definitely is better than individual decision tree because random forest algorithms gives a more accurate uh, prediction. Just like the decision trees, random forest is also non-linear and non-continuous in nature. So problem statement remains the same as of polynomial regression as well as decision tree regression case. Uh, we have this height and age data set which contains two columns. Number one is age and number two is height. Here we want to predict the height of a person given his age. Now important thing to note here is that we don't want to predict the height of a person whose age is less than 10 years because if you note uh, the data set contains age and height data above and equal to 10 years. This data is just for illustration purpose only and you can use more realistic data based on particular use case because data can vary from use case to use case. So without further delay, let's get into the code related to random forest regression. So here cell number one, cell number two and cell number three contains the Python code, which is kind of repeating for every regression algorithm I explained earlier. I explained the code shown in these cells in the previous video as well, where we built a decision tree regression model using scikit-learn. So you can watch that video if you want to get the detailed explanation of these steps. The link is given in the i button above. In this video, I'm going to start directly from cell number four where we are importing random forest regressor. So let's come directly on this cell. Here we are developing a random forest regression model. Here we are first importing the random forest regressor class from sklearn.ensemble package. In the next line, we are creating a random forest object from random forest uh, regressor class and giving it as a name rfreg. In this, we are passing an argument called n underscore estimators whose default value is 10 and which tells how many trees we need to include in our forest. We started with uh, keeping few trees, that is the default value as 10. And then we also try to increase the number of trees to 500 and then 10, uh, 1000. So I will show you doing the same later on. Please note that I will also show you how the visualization will get changed when I increase the number or the n underscore estimator argument value. For now, the n underscore estimator argument value is kept as 10. Next argument is random underscore state whose value we kept as zero so that you can also get the same result. In the next line, we are fitting the random forest regressor with training data represented by x train or x underscore train and y underscore train and using a method called fit which is associated with our random forest regressor. When I ran the cell, our random forest regression model got created and you can see that uh, in the output, uh, it has taken or selected the default values of arguments like criterion as uh, mean square error, uh, max depth as none, max features as auto, etc. And it has taken these values automatically in order to build this model. If you want to get more details about these arguments 
and play around as well as uh, customize the random forest as per your needs then you can go through this documentation page i will provide the link of it in the description section moving on in the next cell i'm trying to evaluate the random forest regression model using r square method if you want to get details around various regression based evaluation techniques like r square adjusted r square mean absolute error mean square error etc then you can watch these videos link for these videos is given in the i button above so first i try to get the predicted height from test data set by passing x underscore test as an argument in the rf reg dot predict method then i imported matrix class from f scale learn which contains r2 underscore score method to value evaluate the model using r square we passed both actual as well as predicted values inside r2 underscore square method and then i printed the result in the next line so here y test contains the actual values and y underscore predict underscore rfr contains the predicted values of height when i ran the cell uh, i got the r square value as 0 0.99509 which is close to 1 this depicts that our random forest regression model is pretty accurate we might see some improvements in this when we are going to increase the number of uh, you know uh, estimators or number of trees in fact using this uh, argument called n underscore estimators in the next cell we are trying to visualize the random forest please note that in case of random forest we have several decision trees so we essentially get several stairs in the chart but how to visualize all the stairs in one dimension well in case of random forest the number of steps increases in the stairs due to presence of several trees so in a nutshell with the increase in number of trees the steps in the stairs get increased as well and if you're wondering what i'm talking about so i'm talking about this graph so you can see that there are stairs right here you can see that there are certain stairs right and if you want to get more detail you can very well check the decision tree regression uh, model uh, video I will provide a link in the i button above there you can get the complete details of uh, what exactly i'm talking about basically these uh, vertical lines and horizontal lines depicts the stairs okay so if you have single decision tree then number of stairs would be less but in case of uh, random forest the number of steps in the stairs would increase so here in the first line we are creating range of values from min value of x train to max value of uh, x train having a difference of 0 0.01 between two consecutive values in the next line i am reshaping the data the above two lines are required so that uh, we can make our graph more smoother in the next line i am defining the scatter plot based on independent and dependent variables and giving the color blue to the observation observations in the next line, I'm plotting the predicted values by drawing red line for them. In the next three subsequent lines, I'm defining the title, X label, Y label, etc. And then I'm uh, setting the size of the figure so that you can visualize the graph more visually and here using this line of code. And finally, I'm uh, plotting the graph using plt.show method. When I ran this cell, I got the graph like this. And you can, as I told you earlier, uh, there are vertical lines on this graph here, you can see, which we can see here. And that's why this graph is non-continuous in nature as against linear regression where we had a one continuous line. This is the way a random forest regression can be represented. So when I ran this cell, you can see that number of steps in the stairs of this are more as compared to decision tree which we plotted in the previous video that is it has more splits and more intervals due to presence of multiple trees in the forest if you jumped directly on this video without watching the decision tree video then you can go through it by clicking on the i button above in the last cell i am predicting the height of the person whose age is 41 years 
and you can see that height uh, came as 152. What's happening here is that uh, in this prediction, uh, 10 trees are voting here at age equals to 41 in order to predict height. Random forest is then taking average of all the predictions at age equals to 41 to provide final prediction of height. That was the whole reason we got more steps on stairs in the graph generated above because each level was split into more intervals because random state was trying to calculate several average values of disease and trees predictions. Also please keep in mind that if you increase the number of trees in the random forest then it will converge to the same final average. So don't think that increasing the number of trees will increase the number of steps in the stairs. So now let's try to increase the number of trees in the model and see what impact does it have on predictions as well as on the graph. So let's increase the n underscore estimators as 500. So we'll increase it to 500 here and then we will run the cell to rebuild the model. So when I ran the cell, the model got regenerated. Now let's run the next cell to evaluate the model. So here you can see uh, with the number of estimators as 10, the random forest R square value of random forest came as 0.99509. Now let's see what will happen for N underscore estimators as 500. So you can see that this time we got the R square value as 0.99. 6.5 which is better than previous uh, random forest model. Let's try to regenerate the graph now and you can see that there is not a significant change due to the reason I explained that increase in the number of trees in the random forest will converge to the same final average only. Talking about prediction we got the height prediction uh, so let's run this cell as well to see the prediction for age equals to 41 and when I ran the cell you can see that uh, we got the height prediction as 151 this time which is way better than the one uh, when we had only 10 trees. So you can increase the number of trees furthermore and play around to see if you are getting better and better predictions and this is the way we can create ensemble machine learning models which is a combination of several machine learning models. So folks this is it for this video in the next upcoming video I will be covering a new regression model or algorithm so stay tuned. Here is the today's question. Are the number of steps going to increase in the visualization chart of random forest if we increase the number of trees? Please post your comments answers in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking little subscribe button down below. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.